In this short tutorial, we will explain the individual settings. Most of them are quite self-explanatory, but some may be confusing. So let's go to settings in the left sidebar. Now we are in the general tab. The first thing we see here is the update panel. If you only use official releases, then 99% of the time you will never need this option, as Lumia Stream will automatically send you a pop-up that a new version is available. Now if you want or need to suspend this update because you are live for example, then come back here later and click on the button that should show Install Now. If you want to participate in the beta releases, then you can activate this with a small checkbox. Then click on Check for Updates and you will automatically be prompted to install the new version. Below that you can set which language the app should use. You can choose between English, Spanish, French, Dutch, Swedish, Arabic and German. These languages are translated manually. Unfortunately, this can lead to delays when new features are integrated that are then only available in English. The next panel concerns donations. Here you can set your preferred currency, choose whether Lumia Stream should automatically convert donations into your currency and you can also set your donations completely to zero. Below that we set the audio devices that Lumia Stream should use. The first option default audio input concerns normal audio files and the custom voices like Brian, Ivy or Hans. The second option is to select on which device the Microsoft TTS voices should be played. Now a lot of checkboxes follow. Start Lumia Stream on boot. Lumia opens when you turn on the PC. Start Lumia Stream in the system tray. Lumia opens minimized in the system tray. Hide Lumia Stream instead of closing. If you click the X in the upper right corner, Lumia Stream will hide itself in the system tray instead of asking if you want to close or hide it. Use Quick Tray menu. You can use the Quick Tray menu to test your commands. Power Lumia Stream when it starts. Should Lumia Stream start fully operational or disabled? Show daily pro tips. Opens a window when Lumia starts in which helpful tips are given. Always start from scratch. Do you want to use the new command creation tool or the old tried and tested method? Show API action success pop-up message. A toast showing that your API call was successful. Show API action error pop-up message. A toast that your API call was not successful. And this is all in the general tab and probably the longest part to explain. Let's switch to the user tab. Here you can see your personal data like your stored email, your Lumia username and you can change your password for Lumia Stream here. Below are the profiles. Here you can create a new profile or copy an existing one. This is useful before any beta because it works like a backup. If you stream with different accounts, you can create a profile for streamer A and one for streamer B. The next tab is the filtered words tab. There is a detailed tutorial for this that you can find via the link in the upper right corner. Here you can import your bad words directly from Twitch or simply enter new ones. In the field replace word with, you can enter how the filtered word will be displayed in the chat or TTS. Please note that only words that enter the chat through Lumia Stream are filtered here like something that comes in through the messages variable. Other chat is the responsibility of the chat mod. Last but not least, you can limit here how long TTS messages can be. In the excluded lights tab, you can specifically exclude lights. For example, you can select that the ceiling lights should not respond to commands. You can always add these lights to individual responses via manage lights but you must remember that they will not respond to anything else. For example, they will stay on the last color because they also ignore back to default. So you would need to have a light off or change color already prepared in the reaction in this case.
The OBS settings tab only affects you if you want to record replays via Lumia Stream, for example. If this option is enabled, Lumia Stream will wait until OBS has finished remuxing the video. This brings us to the session tab, which is the active stream. The session variables are used to extract the data that can be seen in the end credits. Here you can manually delete this data and set whether it should be deleted automatically at the end of the stream. If you want to set weekly goals, for example, you should uncheck this box. The subscription tab is self-explanatory. Here you can manage your subscription or see what status you currently have. The API tab is probably more for tinkerers. Here you get the API token, which you need, for example, for connection with StreamerBot. And last but not least, we have the Advanced tab. You should actually ignore this tab and only call it if the support asks you to do so. Here you can enable debug mode, but also completely delete all your data in the app. Therefore, this should be used with caution. The performance settings only affect really big streamers with over 1000 views per stream. Here you can disable various features that could be a burden on the servers if too much is sent. I hope I could bring you a little enlightenment regarding the settings. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date and have a luminous day.